Hello, how are you? I hope you're well. So I had a visit last night and I hope that you guys like this angle. Although I'm to the side, there's more to view, I guess, from here to here. There's my picture I'm fixing to paint. So ignore that right there. I want to cover kind of like two topics. One, my visit and two, I'll explain after I explain my visit. I will say this to begin with. There's been a couple of circumstances where I did one video about this also. There's been a couple of circumstances where I knew my star family or uh, guides. I'm just going to say star family from this point on if I remember because my star family are my guides also. Back on topic. Um, a couple of times here lately, I have known that they were working on the ringing in my ears. And I've said a couple of times, well, actually more than a couple, but here lately, a couple, and said, I can hear that you're adjusting the sound in my ears or affecting or something like that, but I don't understand if you're trying to communicate with me. And then I heard it changing pitches from high to low to chirping and still nothing. As you know, also, I have been worried and stressing big time about my vertigo. I am scared death that it's going to hit me again and debilitate me. I, I can't, I can't do that. I assume, well, I do know that they know that because they hear my thoughts. They hear me talking about it. And I'm sure they can feel my emotions concerning that also. So with that being said, I don't know if they're working on adjusting me for telepathy or they're trying to fix my ears for my vertigo. I'm not sure. But last night I was asleep and I don't know how long I was asleep, but I feel that I was in the beginning, you know, within five, 10 minutes maybe. And I felt a hard bump on the bed and it, you know, kind of scared me for a second. And, and I knew what was going on once I was aware. And so I said in my head, I know that you're here. I'm not going to open my eyes because I want you to stay. Then it felt like, again, I was being encompassed with something. I think this is something they put me in so they can work on me. How, I don't know, but that's what I'm coming up with because a lot lately I feel that. I feel like it's going under me, around me, and then it kind of like suctions around me like a vacuum packed me. <laughs> Um, so that happened, my adrenaline kind of started kicking in and cause I remember thinking, okay, I'm not scared, but I feel like I've had adrenaline going through kind of like an excitement. And so I opened my eyes, didn't see anything. And then, and I can't remember what order this went into. I don't know exactly when I opened my eyes before they did this to me, a certain thing I'm fixing to tell you or after or during, I'm not sure. It's hard to decipher that when you've already been asleep. <laughs> so after the vacuum pack, suction, whatever, all of a sudden, and this is hard to explain because I've never felt this before to explain it. But the best way I can explain it is as this. In my head, it felt like pressure going out and maybe I don't think it was this, you know suctioning on the inside of my head but it was mainly in my ears and it was uncomfortable it wasn't like very painful it wasn't excruciating it was just uncomfortable and I remember thinking oh wow and then I was kind of like breathing through it because it was pretty uncomfortable and I was trying to relax because I know when you're all tense and fear setting in, a fear of pain coming, it makes things worse. 
So I'm trying to relax and I'm trying to breathe through it. And I, I let them know, I have faith in you that you're not going to cause me severe pain. And by that time, I was trying to force myself to go back to sleep so I wouldn't feel that because it was pretty uncomfortable. And it lasted a while. I don't remember if my ringing had changed or anything, but I think I remember saying something in my head like, um, I feel what you're doing, but I, I can't hear you if you're trying to communicate still. And it was still constant. And, and it stayed that way. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I really don't. I wish I knew. I wish that we could communicate on a higher level so I can know what's going on. Um, but after, you know, a little bit, I did fall back to sleep. I don't know if they put me to sleep or if I just succeeded on my own. Okay, now I want to say, with the things going on around the world about, you know, the balloons and certain things being, uh, taken out of the sky. If you catch my drift, I have to be careful with what I say. I want to say this. These are the things that I know for a fact. I do know that these things taking out of the, taken out of the sky weren't the things that it's been going around saying they were. And I'm not talking about balloons. I know this because I do know that my star family and all other stars families, they have the capability of destroying us. They have that capability of protecting themselves. And if they need to, they can destroy. And I know, I know that. So that's not what's going on. Um, I do know also, I want to say this, for those of you that are scared of extraterrestrials, you shouldn't be because if they were to harm us, they would have done so already because they can do that too. I will say as always that there are negative extraterrestrials, but we are protected by the good. And as always, you have to always protect yourself by surrounding yourself with the white light, a white pyramid around you, you know, golden white light, you know, all of this that you know. Ask your guides for protection, call in Arch Archangel Michael for protection. Oh, tell your guides, please always protect me from this day forward. And and say, you know, there there may be days that I forget to ask you for that protection, but know from this point forward, I would like protection. Always. But when you remember it, still confirm, you know, protection. But the negative extraterrestrials cannot come in and harm us because we are protected. We're not protected by the <laughs> The extraterrestrials that are here, living here, those are a whole different issue. And, and I just want to say, you know, don't be scared of these extraterrestrials. I say that because I'm one and none of my star family hurt me. The only time they make me uncomfortable is when you're trying to fix something. And I accept that uncomfortableness. Other than that, they're not here to destroy us. Like, um, War of the Worlds kind of thing. It's nothing like that. If that was their goal, they could have done that already. They have had a lot of chances. And they can do that. They can do that from afar. And they're not doing that because that's not why they're here. They're wanting to protect us, help us, help us grow. So I'm here to just say, please don't have fear of these extraterrestrials because they're not bad ones. They're all here and they're all good. 
um, they're trying to keep us safe. They're trying to help us grow. Everything is good. So take my word for it and don't be scared. Don't listen to hearsay of all these people saying, yo, they're here and they're demons and they're trying to, you know, hurt us and harm us and blah, blah, blah. Well, you haven't heard of it yet. You haven't heard of a negative extraterrestrial coming down and unaliving people, harming people. You haven't heard of that, have you? And just know for future reference, if that was what they wanted to do, they could have already done it. But it hasn't happened yet. Now you will hear hearsay, but look it up. Do your research. You're not going to hear or see any of that. Do not listen to people. If you hear things like that, just do your own re research. Do your own research. Educate yourself. You cannot believe what everybody says. Now, why should you believe what I say is true? <laughs> well, think about it. Have you heard of any extraterrestrials harming people, unaliving people, or anything like that? No. Do you see that on YouTube, TikTok, anything like that? No. No, not at all. These negative entities have the capabilities of harming you with their mind and I haven't heard that either just so you know I kind of wanted to share that information with you a little bit I also want to ask you I think I've only uploaded it once and it was a couple of videos back probably four days back not yesterday's video the video before that my intro and outro clips with the ufos and everything what did you think of those will you let me know in the comments below because i'm very interested in what you think you're not going to see those all the time because i don't have time to do a video on my phone and then upload it to my laptop or my computer i should say and edit it there and then put it up i don't have time for all that on the days that i work but you will see them on the weekends for sure um, because I have time. I need to be able to get on there and zip through the editing and get it done and out at a good speed because right now I'm so used to doing it on my phone that I can do it quickly, but I haven't done it on the computer in a while. So I need to learn how to do it there. <laughs> And this weekend, I will have that chance to do so. So other than that, I've been well. I've still been battling my want-to-be migraine coming back. It's been in my head still pulsating. I've had two monsters today. The, the second one helped a little bit. I still feel it in the back of my head. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it doesn't come back full force like it was Sunday morning. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going in this here. I know it's short, but I hope it's sweet. So I'm going to send each and every one of you love, light, and peace. Bye.